and you can't figure it out. Woman, 
you are loose from your infirmities. And he laid his hands on her. And immediately, somebody said, immediately. Immediately she was made whole, made straight, and glorified God. I'm going I'm to stop there. I'm going to stop there. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you, oh God, today. We thank you for allowing us to come together one more time. Now, God, as we get ready to journey into your holy word, we ask that you take us out of self. Let us be able to receive what you are telling us within your word. Lord God, let the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart be acceptable unto thee, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. I'd like to talk for a brief somatic presentation from this thought. Just one touch. Look at your neighbor real quick and say, neighbor. neighbor. Say, oh neighbor. oh neighbor. Just one touch. Okay, we're going to go straight to the text. Amen. And I, I, I implore you to read that whole chapter 13. It's a lot in there. It's a lot of meat in that chapter 13. Amen. Our text pick up Jesus teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. While he was teaching in the synagogue and answering questions, his eyes fell on a certain woman as she tried to make her way to a certain place in the place of worship. She didn't notice Jesus, but I don't think she could have. Because the Bible said that she was bent over and could not rise herself. Say, don't you just want to hold there real quick? Don't you know sometime in your life, your situation will have you bent over? Will have you looking downward? Don't you know some people you are affiliated with will have you looking down on your own self-esteem? But this woman, I love this woman in this text because she was this way for over 18 years. The Bible says her shoulders was hinged over. Her neck was bent down. She was always looking down to the ground. Dr. Root wrote this and said she was bent over and could not fully strengthen herself up. In other words, she was not really lying down, nor she wasn't helplessly lying down, but she could not move freely. Don't you know the devil himself, without you looking all the way down on your situation? But what I like about this woman say to God today is that her press was in the house. She just kept on going to the house of prayer. No matter what her situation was, she kept on going to church. Somebody need to know today that maybe your reward is in your press. Maybe your answer is in your press. Maybe your answer in your situation and your outcome of your situation is in yeah. Your breast. She was twisted like a human pretzel. She had learned after 18 years not to look up for anything. 18 years, say, I want to pull this 18 out. 18 years of being laughed at, being made fun of by self righteous people, being walked around, treated bad, couldn't do nothing. 18 years is a long to be, to, to be disabled. So you know after 18 years I'm, I'm steady coming. I'm, I'm steady looking for an answer. I still have my faith in God. I know one day he's going to show up and show out on my situation. 18 years she kept pressing her way. Going to the house 
Are y'all in here? Y'all begin to walk away. Have you ever met somebody that have a situation, maybe not as cute as you, maybe not as dressed as nice as you, and you get a customer and see them? On your job. Come on, somebody. Is it somebody on your job that you just walk by at the liquor store? Is it somebody you see every day you just walk by? You get a custom to seeing people messed up. Somebody. He called her out. He said, Woman, you, you are loose from your affirmative. 18 years saints. Oh, Lord, it's a long time to have a condition, saints. You know, we get a hangnail. Lord, we can't even leave the house. Help me, somebody. 18 years she's been bent over. I don't think y'all recognize how this looks. Thank you. 
what would be called a streetwalker came in and cried over Jesus' feet and wiped them dry with her hair. Now, Simon failed to realize that the woman was in need of salvation. And Jesus was the supplier of your need. Let me tell you the day saints. If let me serve notice, it ain't nobody told you before. Jesus is on the main line. All you gotta do is just call him up. Call him up. Call him up. That's all you gotta do. Then you get on that text machine. Somebody, I need you. Help me. Yeah, yeah. What he what, what he felt realized is that she needed a savior, and that Jesus was a supplier over all of her needs. And he went to tell somebody. I just want to tell somebody. Just, just one touch will turn your midnight into day. Just one touch will turn your situation. Just one touch will put peace in the midst of your storm. Just one touch, somebody, will put love where it is. Just one touch will heal your body, set you free. Just one touch. Oh, yes, sir. And I'm going to get out of here when I get your this for now. Now, I remember on another occasion, there was a boy. That had two fish yes, sir. Yes. and some bread. Yes. Now in the boy's head, all he had was what? Two fish right. and some bread. Right. But when he put it in Jesus' hand, right. it said, oh, y'all ain't with me today. All right. hey, here today. All I'm here to tell you that if he can take care of 5,000, he can take care of you too. All you gotta do is call on him. And he'll be
But how do you look him down? But God has sent somebody in your life yeah. to help you through it. Yeah. So I say to you today, saints, 18 years just won't touch. <laughs> say that with me. 18 years just won't touch. God bless you. Yeah.